For the last month, 10 on your side has been working with local animal shelters to get as many animals adopted as possible. It's part of a nationwide initiative called Clear the Shelters. To date, more than 1,000 animals in Hampton Roads have found their forever homes. Tonight, 10 on your side's Maria Lena Balores takes us to the Outer Banks, where a couple has made it their mission to help as many cats as possible. Deborah and Don Dowdy have always loved and cared for animals. He's a vet, she's a vet tech, but in 2016 something changed for them. And ever since then, they have made it their mission to help every cat that they possibly can. Welcome to Spay and Neuter today. Uh, that's Cubby and he came to us pretty much blind. Deborah and Don Dowdy run the rescue out of their home. That's Gabriella. She loves everyone. They care for roughly 40 cats. Some came in from shelters, others from the street. We fixed his eyes, my husband and I, and uh, feed him with a little bottle. The Dowdies have been working together since 2005, first driving around the Outer Banks in North Carolina in their mobile spay and neuter van. But in 2016, Deborah got sick. And it was a very rare cancer that very few people survive. With only a 10% survival rate, she prayed. If I get through this, if I can survive, I promise we will make every effort to save every cat we possibly can. So that's what they're doing, rescuing, fostering, spaying and neutering, trying to reduce animal overpopulation and euthanasia rates. So with what we do, we try really hard to make a difference. It's a lot of work. Every day starts with three hours of cleaning. Food bowls, water bowls, everything is clean, started new, fresh water and litter boxes all day. Plus, there's the medical care, which is essential before the cats are taken to a nearby PetSmart to hopefully find a new family. They have to be spayed and neutered and rabies before they go to PetSmart. So most of these guys, we have about eight weeks before they actually, from the time they come in our door until they actually get adoptable. All of their work is funded through donations, but just last month, they got some extra help. We recently received a grant from Best Friends and Rachel Ray. That was $12,000. Their goal, use that money to spay or neuter 400 cats by July 2020, giving every animal they meet another chance at finding a home for life. You say you're, you're saving a life, but in actuality, many times that animal is saving their life. Clear the Shelters officially wraps up tomorrow, and there are a number of shelters in our region offering specials for the big day. You can find a list of all that information on wavy.com. In the newsroom, I'm Maria Elena Balores, 10 on your side.